What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the companion system as a whole now that it's been out for a while. We've had some time to play with it. We're about to go into the next update within the Elder Scrolls Online. And I feel that the companion system was a bit lackluster in some areas and it was pretty decent in others. I think a lot of people in the community feel the same way from what I've read and heard kind of people talking about the companion system. In my opinion, the companion system is great for solo players. Uh, people that don't get to play a lot of the game much, uh, you know, maybe don't get to play that often. They want to run around with a little bit of help from a tank or a healer or something like that with, from their companion in general. Uh, I think that is kind of what companions were tailored towards. You look at Skyrim, that is a solo style game. A lot of people like the idea of a companion in it. But when you come to, uh, you know, a big MMO, you know, a big online style game, I don't think the companion system works exactly as it probably could or as good as it could when it comes to the, the way that it was handled in ESO. That's mainly because a lot of people that consider in-game PvP or vet trials, a companion is absolutely useless. You cannot use a, a companion in PvP. And when it comes to vet trials, you're going to be in there with a group. So I really do think that companions are mainly for solo content. So if you're out doing overland content, fighting world bosses, a companion can be very helpful there. If you're wanting to solo dungeons, a companion can be helpful there. But at the same time, uh, when you look at the different types of builds you can get with companions, first of all, Epic Gear drop rate is absolutely horrendous. I made a video talking about that in the past. It's just kind of goofy how hard it is to get Epic Gear. Some of it still isn't really that useful, uh, depending on what type of gear you're looking for. I think a tank style companion is good, but there's still some situations, some boss fights where the tank companion is absolutely melted. The healer companion is not that bad. And when it comes to making a DPS companion, they're absolutely useless. I have not seen a good DPS companion yet. There's no real way to judge what kind of damage they're doing anyway. Of course, it's not going to be the same as a player, a real player doing a rotation when it comes to a DPS companion. So I think most players go for the healer or for the tank. And they are useful in certain situations, but I've also found times where they're not really that good in those situations either. Um, like I said, the, the gear is just a pain to get. And I think a lot of people are kind of turned off by that. A lot of people aren't wanting to go out and spend tons of money. And some of that stuff still costs a lot, even here on console. I know on PC it still costs a lot. Uh, some gear that's the right role, the right, you know, you know, traits, that kind of thing is still kind of expensive in Epic. So, or, you know, in purple quality. So I think overall the companion system is kind of a mixed bag when it comes to how people, you know, feel about it uh, from, you know, the Blackwood update. Some people enjoy it. Some people do not. But I feel like overall it is a bit lacking. Uh, I think there could have been more done with it. Uh, I think the one thing that's kind of disappointing, uh, if it is going to be tailored towards solo players, then why can't you take it in like a uh, veteran uh, Vodastron Hollows or veteran Maelstrom Arena? I think that's the places that, you know, some solo players could have found some real benefit from using a companion maybe. And you cannot take those uh, companions in those certain areas. I feel like a lot of the content in the game that companions were kind of useless in are some of the places that probably would have been more beneficial for solo play, just kind of in general. So overall, I feel like the Blackwood update was good in ways when it comes to story and, you know, the content that was added in, new trial, that kind of thing. But when it comes to the companion system as a whole, I feel it's kind of left all the players with a, just kind of a feeling like it's a, just a little bit lacking. Now, this may get changed in the future. There may be updates to companions. We may get more companions in you know, in future updates, we're not quite sure how that's going to be handled. They, you know, Zoss did say they were going to get or add more companions in later on down the road. And I think people want more companion variety when it comes to how you play and how you want your, uh, you know, your game to be played. Like if you like the Dark Brotherhood, Thieves Guild, that kind of thing. So hopefully in the future, companions will improve. We'll kind of have to wait and see. But leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about the companion system in general. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.